hi guys. Um, so I was really quick to point out Kip's um, airport, um, you know, sweet and low issue and how he made us almost miss the plane. <clears throat> so I had something happen to me yesterday that now it's my turn. So um, we were working on the property and a neighbor drove by and um, stopped by, which is great. We love that, you know, and introduced himself and <clears throat> was, uh, you know, chatting and the whole thing and, you know, great visit. And he was telling us about, you know, the land and some of the neighbors. I mean, not talking badly, but just explaining the history and that whole thing. And um, told us where he lived. He was pointing out over the ridge, you know, where he lived, if we needed anything and all that. And uh, we had probably talked an hour or whatever and George was out there and he kept going over to Kip's truck and I thought well I don't know maybe he's I mean it wasn't hot outside but I thought well maybe he just because he likes to sit in the vehicle sometimes you know so I walk over to Kip's truck and I open the door and and uh I uh it's kind of a taller vehicle he can jump in mine so I just uh set him up and <laughs> I'm sorry, I was going to try to do this with a straight face. Oh, okay. So I set him up in Kip's truck. <laughs> and I just, I set him up in Kip's truck seat, in the driver's seat. And I put my water bottle right in the floorboard and the whole thing. And, and I heard Kip kind of make a comment like, well, where are you two going? Like. You know, and I thought, well, well, he knows I'm not leaving, you know, well, you know, and, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, and I just stay in there with George for a little while, and he's kind of in the front seat of the car, you know, whatever, and he's kind of enjoying himself, and he's adorable, you know, because he's just adorable, and he looks like this little bitty puppy. Little bitty puppy about to drive this black truck, you know, and then the guys are still talking or whatever, and and uh, then about I swear I left George there. I didn't walk away. <laughs> but then I'm looking around, and I um, cause I'm in, I'm <laughs> I'm a distance away, right? And I look over across the property and I see Kim's truck. <laughs> I had walked over and put George in this stranger's truck. <laughs> I swear. I'm I had just boldly walked over and Picked up my dog, opened up this guy's truck, put my dog in his seat. <laughs> and let my dog sit in this guy's truck. Like, excuse me, stranger. I'm just going to use your truck for a minute. And that's why Kip was like, well, where are you going? And the guy didn't say a thing. Thank God. And I look over and I'm like, oh, and I was like, what do I do now? Oh my, and I was petrified. So I get George out, I grab my water bottle, I shut the door. And I'm telling you, I'm never in Kip's truck, never in his truck, never, never in his truck. So, like, I, he's had the truck for, like, two years. I may have been in it four times. So, I, I, and girls, really, like, I drive my Kia around. I am never in his truck. So, I didn't pay attention to the fact that it was a totally different, it's black. That's the only thing that's the same about it. That's the only thing. It's twice as tall. It's like an F. 250 Kim's truck is an F-150 it's like got a like this bo running board to get up in it and I'm telling my story and it is like Kim was just standing here I'm just recording it 
And so he's just standing there watching me have my most embarrassing moment visiting with this guy. And then I walk over, just kind of join the conversation, like nothing, nothing has happened. And I'm like, oh, I die a thousand deaths. And I finally got up the courage to say, I am so sorry I stuck my dog in your truck. I thought it was my husband's. And he goes, oh, it's okay. It's okay. And I'm like, oh, I'm really not crazy. I'm just, I'm just stupid. I don't know which is better. Oh my God. So he probably told everybody in the valley so far. Well, she seems really nice. <laughs> but she's not very smart. <laughs> so Kip's in deep, deep trouble for letting me do that. So it's all Kip's fault. So from now on... <laughs> The fact that you thought it was my truck, and given the two trucks were like 10 foot apart, <laughs> I don't... There's no hope for me, honey. There's no hope for me. Oh...